Hello and welcome to Esprit's latest tips and tricks video. Today I will be taking you through the properties window and some tips associated with that which will hopefully aid in some of your programming. First let's make sure everybody can find the properties window. The properties window can be found under the view, properties, additionally you can also access it by pressing alt plus enter. So I add my properties window and I dock it below my project manager. Uh, this is a Windows interface, so this can be docked anywhere on your screen or on another monitor. So the Properties window is going to show relevant properties for any item that is selected inside of the Esprit interface. If I click on 3 Pocket here, you notice that this tab now populates with that relevant information. If I click on 3 and 4 Pocket, notice that my group count goes to 2. That's the total number of items grouped, and it only displays information that is shared between the two selected items. If I click back on my three pocket, I notice my group counts back to one, one item selected. I go to general tab. On my layer, I can easily change between the layers that are built inside of my Esprit file. If I create a layer after, it is easy to adjust any item inside of the Esprit interface to a different layer. I can also adjust the color, line weight, line type, and so forth. On the machining tab, these are the uh, properties that are going to be related to machining. For instance, I've got the total depth, I've got the work plane which needs to align along my tool axis vector. I can add a chamfer or a blend to either the top or the bottom. Total depth in particular is rather important because this is going to be a default inside of the operations. The operation total depth field will default to the feature total depth. Now to show how the total depth will adjust with the feature. I'm going to come up and click on my one boundary which has a finish tool path associated to it. Notice that my feature goes from the top to the bottom of my part. Say I want the depth of my feature to be an inch and a quarter instead of an inch and a half. So I update my feature and then I come into my finish tool path. Notice how the tool path outline has not yet adjusted to my new feature depth. I can right click in my total depth and system default and it adjusts to that inch and a quarter I just adjusted my feature to. Now I press OK and now my toolpath adjusts to where my feature depth is. Now as I re-click on my three pocket here, we'll continue examining this feature and I scroll down, I want to expand the size function. This is going to give relevant information about the size of that pocket including the minimum radius that is included in that pocket for tooling considerations. Sub-element is every single element that combines or makes up that specific feature or pocket. Notice here that the open edge is false for the pocket. That makes sense. It's a solid line. It is contained inside of my solid. But notice how my one boundary is also a solid line. If I take a look at the toolpaths, that are associated to my two pocket because this boundary is solid notice how it is not cutting outside of my part you know this is technically an open edge to open up this edge I am going to come in and I'm going to right click on my uh, one boundary until I get one solid line at this point I'm going to hold down shift and this is going to propagate all the way around my specific one boundary feature with all of the individual segments and arcs. I'm going to change my open edge from false to true. If I press enter, notice now how the uh, feature is become dashed instead of a solid line. This indicates it's an open feature. A simple rebuild of my toolpaths allows the uh, tool to leave that feature as I would want because this is an open shaped profile. Finally, let's take a look at operations and what populates in the properties window when these are selected. When multiple operations are selected, like properties can be edited together through the technology window here, all right, such as feeds and speeds under the general tab. When a single operation is selected, rotary angles can be expanded and the rotary solution can be changed of an operation. For instance, if I play simulation on this part, you will notice 
that the part is tilting back away from the operator. That is because this trunnion tilts from A of minus 90 to A of positive 90. If I want to change this rotary solution, all I have to come down here and do is change A of 30 to A of minus 30. The corresponding C is automatically calculated for us. And now as I simulate, the part is tilted towards the operator. That's today's Esprit tip and trick video. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit our website at espritcam.com to subscribe to our newsletter for more cool videos. Stay tuned for other Esprit tips and tricks.